Hey everyone, it's Brian. In this video, let's take the Laplace transform of the step function using the definition. So if you haven't seen what a step function is, it looks something like this. For whatever reason, we usually use the letter u to represent it. And you might also see it written u sub a instead of u of t minus a, but this means the same thing. Now, if I wanna take the Laplace transform of something, remember it's the definite integral from zero to infinity of e to the minus st times whatever I want to take the Laplace transform of, dt. So to evaluate this integral, I need to actually know what the step function is. And if you're seeing this for the first time, or if you've seen it before, you would know that the step function is a piecewise function that is zero before a, I guess it's starting at zero, and it's one after a. So what this does, this has the effect of taking this integral and splitting it into two pieces. So this is gonna be the integral from zero to a of e to the minus st times whatever the step function is on this interval. Well, from zero to a, the step function is just zero. And the other piece of the integral is going to be on the interval a to infinity e to the minus st times whatever the step function is on this interval. Well, the step function is just one on this interval. So now I just have to evaluate this set of integrals. Well, this one's pretty easy, right? The integral of zero is zero. I don't really need to worry about that at all. And here, timesing by one, that's not really going to affect anything. So I really just have to take the antiderivative of e to the minus st. Well, that's just e to the minus st divided by minus s, right? If I um, integrate e to the 2x, it's e to the 2x over 2. So you can just remember that when I'm integrating things like this, I just need to divide by that constant. And I need to evaluate from a to infinity. And you know, I really can't evaluate at infinity. I'm gonna use a different letter, a lot of letters going on here, but I'm just gonna say r and take the limit as r goes to infinity. That's how we deal with these improper integrals. Well, make some space for myself. Don't need this anymore. Using the fundamental theorem of calculus, this is just plug in the upper limit. So this is e to the minus sr over minus s minus plug in the lower limit. So that would be e to the minus as over minus s. I just flipped those just because that's how you see it in the table of Laplace transforms. Okay, well, how about evaluating this limit? As r goes to infinity, this would tend toward e to the minus s times infinity. And what I want is I want this piece to go away. I want this to turn into zero. Well, the only way that that's going to work is if this numerator goes to zero. And that happens when e tends to minus infinity. So how can I ensure that this works? Well, s is going to have to be positive, right? Um, because otherwise this would be e to the positive infinity and the Laplace transform would blow up. We don't want that to happen. So I need to make that restriction to make sure this limit goes to e to the minus infinity. And what am I left with? Well, minus a minus will be a plus and I'll just have e to the minus as over s. This is the Laplace transform of the unit step function t minus a. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.